these because the roots are already coming through. They're just about root bound. And we've got way too many for this size of container, but we're going to crowd them anyway. And what we'll do is if they start to stump one another, we'll, we'll come back and thin them out. But they are rather healthy, so I have a hard time not planting a healthy plant. So I'm going to go ahead and plant them. because I don't have to score them, these go rather quick. And like I said, this is way too close together. This, this is crowded, but I'm doing this on purpose because we're in a container and we can control how big these plants get more easily than we can when they're on the ground. You'll note that they're at waist height, which is perfect for me these days. Again, we don't want to plant the plants any deeper than what they're already used to seeing or that'll cause stem rot. And we don't want that to happen. This soil already has fertilizer in it. We've already discussed that with the mouse melons, but it's worth saying again that you really should start with a good soil if you can got enough that we can probably plant another container of these. This is summer squash. So I'm going to cover up the name brand, but it's it's a, uh, a, a butternut squash. Actually, I said summer squash. It is a winter squash. It, it goes in the pantry and stays there forever if you want it to. It's real good for root cellars and storage because it just lasts forever. And it makes fantastic soup. If you've never had butternut squash soup, well stay tuned. We'll end up making some from what we grow here. Because it is one of the most delicious things on the planet. And that's the whole idea behind this. Show you how to plant it show you how to harvest it, show you how to eat it. Alright, now my camera person is getting assaulted by a wasp. Maintain safe gardening. So these are the lemon cucumbers, and what we have to think about with this, the, the winter squash is going to come up and it's not going to vine. It's going to come out, it's going to spread out, and we'll probably have to thin some of the ones toward the middle a little bit so that we can uh, let the rest of the plants grow. But we'll see how they grow before we have to go and thin them. These guys vine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to plant them to the edges of the pot and eventually we'll take an A-frame and put around this and train these guys up the A-frame. Depends on how well they bind. These are lemon cucumbers. Um, the fruit of this particular um, vine um, is a cucumber, but it looks like a lemon. So I'm, I'm excited to see how these turn out and see what they pickle like. So we're going to get these in here and we're going to plant them to the extreme edge of the, of the uh, container. And again, because they're root, they're root bound, I'm not going to do anything to the bottom of the pots. I'm just going to allow them to go right into the soil. That little guy will, will come on and he gets a little bit of fertilizer underneath him. I'm going to give these a little bit more room because they vine. Being careful not to cover up because we don't want to get stem rot. their different preferences when they're planting things in their garden. And you, you might use soil that, uh, we'll just say it's rather miraculous, or you might end up using some that uh, 
stays green um, so that we, we're not using brand names here but um, look for a soil that has the fertilizer in it if you're using containers containers are very difficult to grow things in I'll tell you that from experience our container gardens here have been lower yield than any garden that I would plant in the ground and that's just the way it is we're planting more plants because we want a better yield out of this particular container garden now that we've got these up up the sides we're going to go right up the middle like I said we're going to train these to grow onto an A-frame so it should be just fine to let all of these guys bind together eventually but they need to have plenty of room underneath to get a good root bed established neighborhood stirred all the way so here's, here's something funny we, we bought some plants from somebody in the neighborhood they're good healthy plants but if you'll notice they're tiny in comparison to what we got at a no, lo, local uh, home improvement store um, we won't name any names but they're kind of low um, not really but uh, if you could give me the knife, Becca. What? Rain. Yes, it's, it's starting to rain, and rain will not hurt you. It's good for the plants. Um, so if you see the the difference between these, that they, these were grown with a uh, a special soil um, that had fertilizer in them. I'm imagining that this soil did not have much fertilizer in it at all. Um, this plant's even starting to bloom already, and it's quite small. So I want to get this one in the ground and get, get it the benefits of some fertilizer right away. But these plants are, are still quite young and have quite a bit of growing to do. So um, this is really good that, that we got them. Um, these are red bell and um, they're very healthy. I'm going to take this plastic off. And I like to try to get pots without the plastic um, if at all possible. Again, we want to make sure that the hole is big enough, but we do not want to cover the base of the plant. We do not want stem rot. So we just want that to go right into the ground. We want to cut this plastic off. Make sure you get that into a proper container to, to get it disposed of. We want to give these peppers plenty of room because they do get quite large. And because the, the roots are feeding the plants and they're, they're feeding the, the, the eventual fruit that these plants are going to produce, they need plenty of room to do that. Establish a good root bed. We want to make sure that they have plenty of distance between them. And these little guys, I'm going to mark them. Quite root bound. They will benefit from getting into this fertilizer quite a bit. They should shoot right up. You can reuse these little pots like this to, to uh, plant things in next year. With these kind of uh, bedding containers, you want to pinch them at the bottom just a little bit and pull them out slowly because the roots are, can go all the way to the bottom but they're quite fragile. Ooh, 
those are the uh, the Italian uh, heirloom peppers. So we want to keep those separated. We've got red bells. We've got cayenne, and we've got pepperoncini, which most everybody throws away with their pizza from uh, from that Papa store. We'll just say that. We don't want to use any brand names. Okay, let's see. I love pepperoncini, so. Okay. Hoping to have had one of these for just my carrot, and I don't have that. So we're gonna have to find something else to put the carrots in. Okay.